Oh, rock. Good. There's one. Come on, get in here. Get in here. Yes. Oh, get him through all that stuff. How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to Tyler's Reel Fishing. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the rod and reel that I just used to catch this fish right here out of the thick, juicy, heavy cover matted vegetation and exactly why you as an angler need this type of rod and reel. I don't care if you're a bank angler, a kayak angler, or you fish out of any kind of boat out there, you're gonna need this kind of rod and reel combo to become an efficient and successful bass angler. Now, what is it you ask? My name's Tyler and let's talk about it. Well, how's it going everybody and welcome back to Tyler's Real Fishing. My goal on this channel is to help you guys become better bass anglers with every single video that I make. And so if y'all are not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button to join Team TRF because we are all about learning here on this channel. Now, before we get into talking about what this rod and reel combo is and why I believe it should not only be the next purchase that you make as an angler if you don't already have one, but I'm gonna go into why exactly this thing is my favorite all-purpose rod of all time, no matter what type of angler you are. But I do have to address real quick that we hit 200,000 subscribers, pretty dang crazy. I did a giveaway for that and I have not yet announced the winner of that Lou's spinning reel giveaway. And I'm gonna do this by announcing a winner and then two alternates. Uh, and in case the winner does not get to me within a week, the alternates can contact me and they will be the winners of the brand new reel. So the winner is Michael Gilmartin for his comment, you should do a video going over the best electronics on a bass boat. So Michael, if you see this in the next week, you have one week, I will also find your comment on my giveaway video and I will respond to that so hopefully you see it. Uh, and of course, you are the winner of the reel. The first alternate, in case Michael does not get back to me, is Sebastian Spencer with his comment. And then of course, if Sebastian also does not get back to me, which I, I don't see happening, David James, you are also uh, a second alternate to win the reel. So again, Michael Gilmartin, you are the first winner. You have one week to contact me to get yourself your reel. And uh, thank you guys so much for entering. So why am I sitting down to make a video over just one rod and reel combo and why do I believe this is such an important rod and reel combo for every type of bass angler? Well, I believe that there's a lot of situations out there that dictate the need for this rod. And we'll get to the specifications and, and, and the length and the power here in a second. But this rod and reel combo is going to be what I'm gonna call the rest of this video, a heavy rod combo. That does mean, of course, the rod is a heavy action as we'll talk about, but this is just a rod to get the job done. And what I mean by that is when you're talking about big jigs, big swim baits, top waters, flipping and pitching into heavy cover, Anywhere you go in the country, I don't care if you're in a pond, river, creek, or stream, there are potential situations in which your traditional mediums, medium heavy, spinning rods, that just do not do a proper effective job at catching fish. Here on TRF, we are all about eliminating downtime and catching more fish, and so that is why I believe this combo is very important. So let's go over the specs of this combo. I'm gonna talk about two different price range combos, an expensive price range combo and a more budget-friendly price range combo. And the good thing is Lou's covers every single spectrum, no matter what your budget is. And so the rod that I have fallen in love with, like I said, for throwing big jigs, big worms out deep, uh, dragging a Carolina rig, flipping and pitching in heavy cover, throwing a frog, throwing a topwater walking bait, is a 7.4 heavy action rod. The reel is a fast gear ratio reel. This here is the Lutz Hyper Mag in 7.5 to 1 gear ratio. And the line is 50 pound braid. Now to give some validity to my claim why this rod is so important, I'm gonna tell a quick story of a buddy of mine named Jonathan Martin who is a college roommate of mine and is now really getting into bass fishing. He is ate up with it. He's sending me pictures all the time of all the new PBs he's breaking, two pounds, 2.4 pounds. It is so cool for me to be able to actually see one of my friends, watch my videos, and translate the knowledge that I teach into bass fishing success for himself. I hear of you guys doing it all the time, but it's cool to see one of my buddies doing that. And so he went to Bass Pro Shops, he picked up a rod and reel combo, you know, seven foot medium and he's been great throwing little crankbaits and worms and a chatterbait but he realized that there's certain situations that he just can't throw certain lures on that rod and reel. And the same can be said for a lot of you guys that throw spinning rods out there. There are certain techniques that a spinning rod is just not designed for. A medium action rod, medium heavy even, is not designed for. And so he texted me a few weeks ago and he said, I saw your video of you of you punching and, and fishing the heavy cover called the jungle. And I see some of that at my local pond. I want to be able to, to flip a lure in that, but I don't have the control with my rod. I feel like my, my bait, you know, kind of like, you know, bungee 
fringes on, on the rod tip and it's a little too heavy and I can't quite pull a fish and get a hook set in in that thick heavy vegetation. He said, what rod and reel do I need for that? And I said, oh boy, do I have the video for you. And so of course I told him in person what he needs to go purchase. Uh, but that is what this video is all about. Uh, I'm gonna have a bunch of fish catches here at the end of the video, of some of my favorite fish catches using this type of rod and reel. Like I said, the heavy rod and reel combo. And I believe the 7-4 heavy, 7-5 to 1 gear ratio and 50 pound braid is just the best rod and reel to have for an all purpose heavy situation. I know a lot of beginner anglers watch my channel and you may only have a few rod and reel combos and I'm not saying to go out there and purchase 27 rods and reels like you see in my boat sometimes because that's just not needed. You don't need that many rod and reel combos. But the phrase that I love to use when describing you know, rod and reel combos in general and bass fishing and being efficient is that you don't want to bring a gun to a knife fight. You don't want to bring a screwdriver to something where you need uh, a shovel. I mean, you don't want to bring the wrong tool for the job. And just like that, you do not want to bring the wrong rod and reel combo to a certain situation where you might be able to catch some fish with what you currently have. But I think every bank angler especially, especially now that top water time is coming all around the country, flipping and heavy vegetation is coming, throwing a big jig out deep. All of that is finally coming to fruition for all of us around the country, bass fishing wise. And so I think this rod and reel is one of the most important ones for every single angler to have. And if you don't have one yet, it's time you go get one. Now, when it comes to the two different price ranges, uh, this one here is, is relatively expensive. Of course, my Hyper Mag is $300 uh, MSRP, and then the KVD 7.4 Heavy Action is, uh, I believe, $100, so it's a $400 combo. Definitely not price uh, conscious for a lot of people. One of my favorite rods out there that of course brings the price up on the rod a little bit, but is the TP1 Black 7.4 Heavy. And of course, all this stuff will be linked in the video description for you guys to shop uh, through those links down there and check them out. But the, the, the TP1 Black, of course, $129 rod, so slightly more expensive, but one of my favorite reels for doing this sort of thing is the Tournament MP. It is a $125 rod, I believe, so that brings your combo down to $300. And if you want to get even more budget than that, I'll have a crazy budget down below. The Luz Speed Stick. It is a 80 or 80 or 90 dollar rod, one of the cheapest rods that I use, and I love that thing. It's slightly heavier than than the, the rest of the rods that I've talked about, but in my opinion, when you're throwing big heavy lures and flipping in heavy vegetation, you don't need a super light rod. You're not throwing like a, a drop shot or a, you know, eighth ounce Ned rig out there on a bait caster. You're, you're fishing heavy stuff. So the traditional loose speed stick in a 7.4 heavy is great. And then the loose classic pro reel, while it's not as strong component wise, it will definitely get the job done. And I will also include a few fish catches on that reel as well uh, at the end of this video here. But man, like I said, you don't have to go out there and buy a whole bunch of rods and reels. But my goal on this channel is to help you guys become better bass anglers. And a part of that is not being complacent with the gear you have that might get the job done. And part of my job in that is to help you guys not just get the job done, but catch more and more fish and be a better angler. And I believe this rod combo is one that everybody needs to at least think about putting into your arsenal because it is so dang versatile and you will see by the fish catches here at the end of the video. I catch them on a jig, catch them on a frog, catch them on a uh, you know big hair jig offshore, I catch them on a flutter spoon, anything that's a big lure, a big swim bait, you can throw on this rod. Now of course there's a max. You can't throw two ounce punch rigs on this rod. You need a little bit heavier of a rod for that. You can't throw 10 inch glide baits effectively on this rod. You know, once you actually get to like the huge baits, you need to find yourself an even bigger rod. But for every bank angler and bass boat angler out there that just wants to do bigger things, a little bit bigger lures, and hopefully catch bigger bass, I think this rod combo is incredibly effective, especially with a 50 pound braid. You can do all these things, besides maybe a frog, with 20 pound fluorocarbon. I have just found that when it comes to punching and top water, 50 pound braid is a really, really good all around braid, and you can still throw a big worm on 50 pound braid. You can still throw a football jig on 50 pound braid, especially if your water is slightly more dingy. So I'm gonna stop talking. I feel like I've talked about this rod and reel enough. I'm just in love with this thing. I've got five or six of these in my boat because I use them all the dang time. And y'all are gonna see that in these fish catches. So without further ado, I'll top on the water and check out these fish catches. Got her, I got her. No way, no way. That's a big one, that's a big one, that's a big one, that's a big one. Get around the sticks, get around the sticks. Oh my gosh, I didn't know how to hooked. I didn't know how to hooked. Oh my gosh, yes! Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at that fish right there. Ho, ho, ho. Five pounder. Got him, got him. Oh, that's a big one, that's a big one, that's a big one. Give him some slack, give him some slack. No, don't you break me off. Do not break me off, do not break me off. Oh, my power poles are down. Nope, no, my power poles are down. 
Yeah, in the boat. Yes! Oh, oh, oh God. God, holy cow. Holy smokes. That's a big one. 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 Oh my gosh. Hello. 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 Oh, yes, sir. Yes to the sir. Biggin, 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 yes! <laughs> That's so amazing. Oh gosh, I got hit. There's one. Yes. Bigger one. That's great. There's one. Gosh. That's a nice one too. That's not a bad one either. That one, that one bit really weird. Oh gosh, he's in the trolling motor. He's in the trolling motor. Chill, chill. Get off of there. Thank you. Come on. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. Holy smokes. That does not look like a Minnesota largemouth. That looks like a Texas largemouth. Oh, he barely nipped at it, man. That was not the normal. Oh, he's big, he's big. That was not the normal swim bait bite. That's a nice one though. Ha 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 ha! My name's Tyler Anderson. And let's think and talk about it. Gosh, there's one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Get down, get down. Don't you jump. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That felt good. Holy cow, folks. Alrighty. First one on the Senko. Strong fish. I love river fish, man. They are stinking strong. Hello. 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 Oh, hello. How you doing? My biggest one out of here. Let's go. Let's go. That right there is a stinking chunkosaurus. I saw, I told you. I told you. Came off that tree. I was literally daydreaming. Like, I wonder if a big fish could come off that tree. And guess what? He did. He did. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I hope y'all could see that. Holy smokes. It's just constant three pounders plus, man. This is stinking crazy. Gosh. Yep, yep. Dude, that's a fat fish. Holy cow, it's fat. Holy cow. Wow. <laughs> Oh, hello, hello, <laughs> look at that fish right there. Gosh, that's a nicer one. That's a nicer one. That's a nicer one. That's a nice one, that's a big one. AKA giant, AKA giant, AKA giant. Holy cow, holy cow, holy cow, holy cow. Yes, let's go, let's go. That right there is what I'm talking about on the Classic Pro. Let's go, baby. Give him some redemption, this bait. Come on, we need an explosion. Explosion of power and chaos. There we go. Yes. I called it. Did you get that? Hey. There's one. Oh my gosh. Gosh dang it, gosh dang it, gosh dang it. Gosh dang it, gosh dang it, there we go. Holy cow, I was stuck, I was stuck. That's a big one, that's a huge one. That's a big one, that's a big one. Holy cow, y'all, I was stuck on my stinking uh, GoPro cable. Okay, okay, I came back through where I got one to chase my top water, and now I've got a big one on the swim bait. And she has it choked. This is my biggest bass, maybe of the year, I've been trying to get one over seven for so long. I've put in so much time. Is this finally the time? Is this finally the time? I got a 6.96. Is this finally the time that I catch a seven? I think this is the same exact fish that I just saw. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. I came back through and I thought to myself, if that fish is willing to chase a topwater plopper, it might want to chase a swim bait. And I just felt that little tick Set the hook. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. 
Oh, come on. Don't do that. Don't do that, you goof. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yes. Yes, sir. Look at that fish right there. I don't know if it's the seven pounder that uh, I've been looking for, but ate the swim bait. Oh my goodness. That's literally the exact same fish. I can tell with the markings on its back. That's the same exact fish that I just saw chase my top water. Yes. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yes. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. We have figured him out. That's a long, that is not a Minnesota bass. That's skinny. It's a long, skinny bass right there. Horsed him out of this heavy cover. Awesome. Heck yeah. There's one. He's running at me. Holy cow. Get out of that branch. Get out of that stuff. Yes. There we go. Not a bad one. Again, just out in the open in that shallow water. That's a chunk. Chunky dunk. Every single time. Hook gets them in that soft patch right beyond the, uh, the hard part of their mouth. That's awesome. And when you're reeling it in, you know, there's not a whole lot of... Uh...